Pinkerton woman says she tried new hairstyles in the past, but it was just never the right fit. Hopefully today will be a different story. This is Sarah's before picture, picture, and now she's about to get a makeover. Let's meet her. She's with Joseph Whitnick at the Salon Professional Academy in Appleton. Good morning. Good morning, Rachel. How are you? This is very exciting. This is very exciting. I'm here with Sarah. Sarah, hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm very excited. <laughs> and why did you feel that this was so important to bring into your life right now? A new look. Um, at my age, as I'm getting older, I want something to fit me. And you're an excellent person that I heard would help me do that. Aww. That puts pressure on me. You need it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, yeah, we, we had a talk. And as always, I do a full consultation. We talked about what is really needed in the purpose, right? Yeah. And I'm really aware, she's a very natural person, so it's not like we're gonna do something that's gonna take you an hour and a half to do, right? Right, yeah. right. You want me to be natural and be very comfortable and be very happy with it. And I think I'm, I'm ready for the challenge and I think it'll be great. And Rachel, what a beautiful red it's going to be. Oh. And then I'm here with Dia. <laughs> Dia's gonna do makeup and Dia is amazing. So Dia, hello, good morning. Good morning, thank you, Joseph. Today um, on Sarah, we are going to do a little bit of eyebrow waxing to define her brow, because that's a really um, great features to enhance on your face. And then with that, we are going to add some cheek color for her, because she has really great cheekbones there, and then do more of a lip to enhance her look. And then a little bit of concealer to brighten up under her eyes, and that's kind of what we're gonna touch base on today. Yep. And remember, we're keeping it very simple. So that might sound really technical, but Dia breaks it down so it's for those of you that are really natural. And you know, don't you find that right now we're seeing a lot of natural makeup? Like people are showing up at runways with no makeup on. Oh yes, yes. It's simple is like the new beauty right now. So we're All gonna right. do something like that for her. That cool. Sounds great. Well, are you Joseph, ready? I, ask you I about am ready because it's gonna be natural myself, <laughs> so I don't have to worry. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. I want to ask you about the yes, length Rachel. of her hair. Has it been Talk a long time me. since she's cut it? And what do you plan to do with oh, her cut? Oh, my Lord. Well, uh, quite simply, okay. don't think just because it's long, I want to take it short. If you look here really quickly, her she doesn't have a forehead, Rachel. Forehead is four fingers. One, two, three. F so she basically has a one, two. She has a three head, <laughs> which means we've got to make this taller okay and she's not real tall so everything has to go in that direction so taking this in proportion this is what determines how long you can go the width of nose to chin so when you put this here turn it down basically we're going to bring her length into what's best in the proportion of her face so that's what determines the length not me although i can but when you're trying to you know settle someone down that's a little yeah. bit nervous because I'm new to her. Yes, and you right. know how that is sometimes, Rachel. Well, it sounds so like a good plan. So the length she's got, and turn around really quickly. Yep. And I like Dia's plan too, so, so uh, that's it's a long. lot of hair you've got to deal with. We'll let you get started. We'll check back in yeah. about an hour, a little bit less than an hour. Okay, Joe, <laughs> thanks so much. Tigerton woman says she has spent more time taking care of animals on a farm than she's ever spent on herself. Well, that is about to change. This is Sarah before her Monday morning makeover. Sarah says she's tried other hairstyles before, but nothing fit. What's going to happen to all of that long hair you see? Well, let's check it with Joseph Whitnick at the Salon Professional Academy in Appleton. Hi, Joseph, how's it going? Uh, hi, Rachel. It's going so well. And any of you that think that because she works on animals on a farm that we have a hobby farm here this morning, because <laughs> um, we got a lineup at the door for people to come in and pet sheep, it's not true. Um, it's going great. Um, Sarah? is doing great she's relaxing we got her to relax right now um i gotta talk to you about this though i mean for those of you that know that i paint uh i never just use one color i always use many and th this i don't know if you'll love this because it's a combination rachel of a cool red and a warm red oh. so when you clash a blue red with an orange red you get an unsurpassed red that i can only call rocket fire okay so that's what's going on here. Sounds exciting. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Um, it is exciting. I can't wait for you to see it. It's yummy. Um, I'm here with Dia. 
and she's one of my all-time favorite makeup artists and an alumni of the Salon Professional Academy. Uh, and she's got some tips for you on plucking. The correct term is tweezing here. And if you look at Sarah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I love that she's schooling yes. you now. Well, Sarah here, we were able to wax this side. And she is. Done. And if you go on this side here, I'm going to show you guys a little bit on, you can see some of her natural brows coming in this way, but you can still see the shape in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wax the bottom row here. Show us this. This always looks good. Sarah, turn your head a little. Rachel, can you see that good? Yeah. Ra Rachel, have you had this done before? You know I have. Oh, we can't discuss that disclosure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and well, an eyebrow shape is I think this is, is so a really huge... Oh, man. You know, they say that the eyebrow is the frame to the eye. So whatever you want to take away from that, and believe it or not, for being... Um, she's got great eyebrows and she's got great everything and this is kind of she's a hidden treasure her hair yeah look that uh, just looks awesome wow sarah how did that feel good <laughs> she's lying <laughs> she's plucking, right? she, yeah she is lying it's yeah it's better than plucking but plucking is tweezing now <laughs> I have to remember my terminology. You can tell I don't wax. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to say in closing to this? So yeah, so eyebrows are good to be done every three to four weeks. Otherwise, you're going to have a little sparse hair coming here and there that you might have to tweeze if you don't come in every three to four weeks. I'm going to throw something random at you. Is, is tweezing make hair come back less really quickly? Uh, not. It slows down the hair of the process because there's three stage of growth. Okay. There. There's your answer, everyone. Okay. So, Rachel. All right. Well, we can't wait to see the, the final Ooh. look. You've got about uh, an hour to get it all done. Joseph, thank you so much. Uh, you and have people to say that, don't you? I do. You have yeah. to say that. You've got an hour. Let's get cracking. All right. Thanks, Joe. And if you want a makeover, go to work. It is time for the final reveal of our Monday morning makeover. This is Sarah from Tigerton's Before Look. She now has a new cut, a new color, and newly shaped eyebrows. Let's check in with Joseph Whitnick at the Salon Professional Academy in Appleton. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Hi, Rachel. And you know what? She's got all that. And it looks, she looks great. She feels really good. I feel really good. Dia feels amazing. I love how this always ends up. The sound of a freight train in the background is my school is now opening, and those are actually students arriving with their pull carts. So <laughs> if you hear that, we're not on the tracks. Here we have Sarah. What do you think? Wow, it looks great. It's great. It's awesome. Very simple. Yeah. Easy to do. I'm excited. I'm happy. What do you think about the color? I think the color's amazing. I absolutely love red, and he nailed it. He absolutely <laughs> nailed it. Did, did you I, coach did, her to say yeah, that? I nailed it. I did not coach her to say that, actually. I really didn't coach no, her. No, I love it. I love red. Anybody that knows me loves, knows that I love red. Well, it looks I'm going to show it. you the red in a minute, because it's... Yeah, it's very, very cool. As I said before, it's a combination of the two reds, the cool and the warm. So I want to turn her around so that you can see that. And Austin will get that in the light. But isn't that pretty? Really pretty. Beautiful. And what does she think of now, the length? This is actually... Well, when she first went to flip her hair out of her cape, uh, what did you think about the length? Not bad. Not bad. It's longer than I expected, and I'm glad because I like my long hair. Yeah. It's pretty. Well, you know what? Like I told her, we put it where I feel it needed to be best on her facial features. Dee, I want you to speak a little bit about what it is. How do you feel? Oh, I feel great. Her overall makeover is lovely. So here we did on her brows after I waxed everything, we went in and fill it in to enhance the color of it to make it more noticeable because that's a great feature on her face. And then because she has hooded eye, we added more color around it. So that way when she opened her eyes, she can you can see the color popping through with hooded eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what, Dia? She's I can't good. see enough. <laughs> Amazing. Dia's good. Yes? 
Absolutely. And, Dia um, is wonderful. Ra yep, and Rachel, I kept it simple because she's not going to use a lot of implements. So what I did was I used the famed brush iron that I think many times you use, correct? Not that I'm promoting it, but this little brush iron, just brushing it through the hair to give it a little bit of a bend is all that it's needed. He right? beat me with it to keep me in the chair. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Very simple. Yeah. This is not a hot one. That is a hot one. <laughs> All right. Anyway, anything that you'd like to say to anyone out there? I mean, your husband texted me, and he was so thrilled. <laughs> this is wonderful for you. And you've gone through a lot of stuff that we don't need to talk about. But how are you walking away today? Amazing. I feel refreshed. I feel like leave it behind, move on, and it's going to be great. Thank you to everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dia. Thank you, Dia. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, we have to thank Rachel. Because no, you don't have to do that. On. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> well, you're welcome. I, I had anyway, nothing much to you, do with it. Jo any of you Go ahead, real quick. Well, anyone interested in the makeover, um, we'll put up the website that, or the email that you need to go to contact. And I encourage it at this point because, um, because we take care of you here. Sure at do. The Salon Professional Academy. Looks so, real good today, They make Josephia. you feel like a million bucks. These guys are great. Aww. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Ciao. everyone. Sarah, you look great. That information he mentioned is on our website.